Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome back to the Lions franchise here in Season 4. Now, we have a couple of upgrades before getting into this episode. Remember, we are going up against Trevor Lawrence as he was drafted number one by the Minnesota Vikings after they went 2-14 with Matt Stafford at quarterback. Quinn Bryant joins the 80 overall club as he is the number nine ranked left guard in the league. Remember, he was our first draft selection in this franchise. And then Rich Patton was our first round pick two seasons ago. He's almost at 80 as well. So the Vikings did lose their first game against the Redskins. They are quarterbacked by uh, Dwayne Haskins. They drafted Jake Fromm number one overall two seasons ago and they still haven't even played him. So one thing I didn't cover in the first episode were the undrafted free agents. Let's start with at receiver. Dustin uh, Saval is going to be an undrafted guy who made the roster, and so is James Blackman. They're not the greatest overall, but right now we don't want to kind of waste those roster spots on receivers because, honestly, I'm going to use a lot of tight ends and receiver sets and guys like Jesse James and Hogginson will be in on those five wide receiver sets. So I don't really need to be too deep at receiver, but just in case somebody does get hurt, I will need somebody. So I just want to kind of develop those guys behind them. So a couple of guys to look out for on our practice squad, Will Blank and Peyton Tulloch, our last two. We had six total undrafted free agents. Sherman actually was on the team last year, and I just wanted to highlight him because watch out for him in pass rushing situations. He's going to get in, so just watch out for him as this season goes on. So let's hop into this game. Trevor Lawrence, who was drafted number one overall versus Justin Fields, drafted number seven. Could this possibly be a rematch of the national championship here in 2019? You never know. It could be Ohio State and Clemson. So let's get this one underway. Here is Travis Etienne, Trevor Lawrence's teammate at Clemson. He takes it back to about the 21-yard line as Justin Fields is coming off of a solid victory. Didn't have to do too much in the opener as our defense pretty much carried us as we shut down Jimmy Garoppolo in the first game. So here we are starting out under center, handing the ball off to Carrion Johnson. He's only got a gain of five to start us out here on the ground. So now second and five, three wide receivers out there. And Hawkinson this time, Justin Fields is going to take it out to the right side. Nice block. He's going to get to the outside, but he's going to cough it up as he gets stripped from behind. And Anthony Barr picks it up and runs out of bounds. But wow, a mistake already in the, on the second play of the game. He doesn't get down and doesn't slide. And that one is going to be a costly fumble as here comes Trevor Lawrence out onto the field. So here he is, first play, throw out to the right side. He's got Stephon Diggs out on the right. And look at that, on the first play, Diggs is shaking up already. So now second and five, five wide receivers out there. Lawrence, all day to throw the ball. He's going to unload and throw it deep, and that is going to be tipped and almost intercepted by Rich Patton. They tried uh, Cook out of the backfield, and now that's going to bring it to a third and five. This time Lawrence throws to the right side. He's got Adam Thielen for a big first down throw. That's a big time throw in a first down. So at the 15, throw to the left side. They've got Thielen again. He's spinning his way inside the five yard line as they now line up in the shotgun with trips to the left side. Lawrence throws to the end zone, wide open. That's Jose Kelly in the back of the end zone, touchdown. And Jose Kelly was their first round pick in the first draft. In this franchise, he, I believe he was drafted at number eight overall, and he gets on the board here, making it 7-0 on the road for the Vikings. But we do to try, we are going to try to establish a little run game as Travis Etienne gets nine on that one as he weren't able to move the ball. Here's a throw across the middle, and that's going to be caught by Tyler and Wallace. Like I said, in the first game, we weren't, we weren't able to run the ball at all as we're going to have to try to get the ball into our running back's hands in different ways, run a couple of different concepts in this one but this is a tough defensive line we're going against so here is Fields throw to the right side he's got Tylen Wallace who is going to fight forward for the first down a couple of easy throws for Fields early as he moved the ball across the 50 yard line from the shotgun good protection he's going to roll to the right side this time he's going to take it himself but this time he's going to slide down and get down on the ground and be smart on this one instead of coughing it up 
So at the 33-yard line, here's a throw out to the left side. Justin Fields is going to find Tylen Wallace once again, and that is a gain of 12 and a first down. So now we get it inside the 20-yard line. Play action fake. Fields throws across the middle. He's got 93 throw power and a quicker release than Anthony Ying and also Easton Stick. That's a first down. So here's a throw out to the right side on a second and goal, and that is going to be a touchdown for Travis ETN, and he gets on the board for the Lions here at home, and it's going to be a tie game, 7-7. So here comes Trevor Lawrence gotcha, back out onto the field. First pass, and that's going to be a sack by Bilal Nichols, who we signed over from the Bears in free agency. He gets in there really quickly on that one. So now third and 11. There is a draw play, and Trey Flowers is there for the stop. And they're going to have to punt the ball to the Lions. So here we go, back out on offense again. Here is Fields buying some time. He's going to take it himself, and he's going to slide down for a gain of nine, it's definitely a weapon to use his legs. So third and one, handoff up the middle, there's carry on, he's fighting forward. Gain of three as we move on to the second quarter. So now play action fake here on a second and 10. Fields throwing the ball deep down the sideline and that is gonna be a flag on the play. And we will get the pass interference call as that is gonna make it first and 10 at about the 23 play action fake this time fields unloads throws deep to the left side and that one is caught by Marvin Jones that's a big time throw he got plastered on that play and field stays in the pocket throws an accurate throw second and goal quick throw out to the right and it is TJ Hawkinson and we will take the lead here 14 to 7 at home versus Trevor Lawrence and the Vikings a nice easy throw for the rookie he's got two already so back on the next drive, here is Trevor Lawrence handing it off to Dalvin Cook as he can't get anything going in this one so far as they line up for it on a third and eight. Trips to the right side again. They like this trip formation. Trevor Lawrence unloading deep. He's got Adam Thielen who throws off a tackler. He's going to take it all the way. Touchdown Vikings as wow. I don't know what our safety was doing on that one, but we had two defenders. That should be a tackle all day, but Thielen breaks free so just like that it's a 14 up game here's a handoff up the middle that is Travis Etienne and he picks up a couple of yards there but not enough to move the chains but here on the third and nine here's a throw to the right side and it is going to be a stop and wow we have to punt the ball away here so they get the ball back here with four minutes left here in the first half they can possibly put some points on the board but here's a throw to the right side and Trey Flowers Drop back in coverage. Trevor Lawrence did not expect him to be in coverage. That's a drop pick, and it gives them more life. And here on third and seven, throw to the left side. And it's a first down, Dalvin Cook, as he spins his way forward to the 45. So now under center this time, full back behind him. Here's a handoff. This time, Dalvin Cook trying to get some running room. He has not been able to break one free. As our defensive line, led by Sean Chapman in the middle, makes the stop. So third and seven, here's a dump off pass to the right side. Nice one-on-one -on -one tackle by big play Slay on Darius or on Dalvin Cook. And we do force the punt here. So now we get the ball back before half with a chance to get some points on the board. On the first play, here is Justin Fields. Nobody to throw it to. He just throws it into the stands. So now a second and 10. Justin Fields throw to the right side. He takes a chance and it's going to be picked off by Mike Hughes. And TJ Hawkinson had one-on-one -on -one coverage. Justin Fields just threw it a little bit too much inside. And now Trevor Lawrence is back out onto the field before the first half. So now they have about 30 seconds left. Here's a throw across the middle. There is Irv Smith Jr. out of Alabama. He's open to about the 35-yard line and a big play that time. How does he get that wide open? So now 10 seconds left. Lawrence throwing deep down the right side, and that is going to be knocked away. By big play, Slay, nice play in coverage. As they do line up for about a 50-yard field goal, and that one is just going to be good. And the Vikings will go into halftime with that last second drive there, and it's going to be a 17-14 to 14 game. So now out to start the second half, it has been even so far, but this passing attack by the Vikings has been 
the killer so far. Here's a run out to the right side. Dalvin Cook doesn't have room, but he gets helped out by the flag that time, and it's a face mask, and that's an extra 15 yards. So screen pass out to the left side. That's Jose Kelly who's going to get the bubble screen. He's picking up a gain of nine. Second and one, handoff up the middle. No, it's a fake. This time Trevor Lawrence throws over the middle, and it's going to be one-on-one -on -one coverage with Adam Thielen, but they're going to call pass interference on that one on Chris Harris Jr. So now they get the ball at about the 20-yard line. Handoff up to the left side. That's going to be a tackle by Dal I mean on Dalvin Cook. And now we get it to a third and nine. Let's come up with a stop this time. Trevor Lawrence, nobody to throw it to. He's going to dump it off to the right side, and it's going to be a tackle before the first down marker by big play Slay. And we at least get them to settle for the field goal on that drive, making it 20 to 14. So here's Justin Fields with the first throw to the left side on the next drive, and that is Tylen Wallace. And these two have developed kind of a good chemistry. The slot receiver, maybe the guy that's going to take over for Marvin Woods as the eventual, eventual number one receiver on this team, and he gets a nice gain on that one. So now eventually we get it to a third and 11. This time Fields in the pocket, and that's going to be a sack by Daniil Hunter as he was just trying to get rid of it, and the pass rush does get there before he gets rid of it. So now here on the punt, here is Trevor Lawrence backing onto the field, facing some pressure, and he's going to throw to the right side, rolling out to the left. Wow. Sean Chapman was right there. Trevor Lawrence just delivers a perfect ball to Jose Kelly. So here is Lawrence throwing out to the left side. He's got Adam Thielen deep, and he's going to hold on in traffic inside the 25-yard line, and Trevor Lawrence has looked deadly so far in this game. So this time they hand it off to Dalvin Cook. Use a little trickery this time to get him some running room, and he picks up only a gain of seven, and that brings it to a third and three. Here is Lawrence this time. Going to throw to the left side. He's got his man on the sideline. That is going to be Marquez Valdez-Scantling, and he's going to keep both feet in bounds for the first down. So at the four, here's a handoff. This time Cook is going to get through our line and get in for the touchdown as now they are up by two scores as they line up to go for this two-point conversion. This time we send some pressure, but they get it out quickly to MVS, and that is two points and a 14-point lead for Minnesota. So here's Justin Fields back on the next drive. He's going to throw it to the right side. That's Galladay who gets hit out of bounds, and we get the late hit on that one, so an extra 15 yards as he move this ball to about the 42-yard line after a penalty. This time Justin Fields throws over the middle. He's got Hawkinson who's going to be open. And he gets past the 50, but he's going to be shaken up on that play. So now third and seven, five wide receivers out on the field for the Lions. This time Fields, he's going to have nobody to throw it to. He's going to force it into traffic, Jesse James. And that is picked off Newton with the interception. And that was kind of a bad throw. We had nobody to throw it to. We could have probably took it, took it and run. But instead, we try to force it, and it's a turnover. So here are the Vikings back out onto the field. There's a screen pass, but that's not going anywhere as Trevor Lawrence comes under center here on a second and 10. At the 42, play action fake. We fall for it. There's a throw across the middle, and that is going to be caught. Jose Kelly, he's got wheels. That's a touchdown. His second of the game, and the Vikings take the three-score lead here. And wow, it has opened up really, really quickly. What an awesome play action on that one. I was totally fooled. And now they take the 21-point lead as we move into the fourth quarter. Here's Justin Fields with the throw out to the right side on the next drive, and that's caught by Marvin Jones as that officially moves us on to the next quarter. So now second and eight. This time Fields tries to buy some time. He is facing a blitz, and they blitz from the left side, blitz from the right, and Fields can't get away. So now third and 17, this time Fields throws across the middle. He's got Wallace again. That's a perfect throw and a first down. That's about a gain of 19, and we get that yardage right back. So now inside the 20-yard line, here facing a third and 10 once again. Here is Fields, throw across the middle. He's got Galladay, who almost falls into the end zone that time, and he gets touched down at about the one. So now at the one-yard line, handoff up the middle, ETN. He does lower a shoulder. He gets in for the touchdown. 
and now we are back within two scores but wow has this second half really opened up here for minnesota so now they're just going to try to protect this lead here's a handoff dalvin cook he's got an open hole and that's probably the biggest hole he's had so far this game he's been held in check but he still has pretty good stats 57 yards rushing and a touchdown throw across the middle trevor lawrence is going to be picked off that's the turnover we needed Quandre Diggs on the interception. Trevor Lawrence just overthrows his man just slightly, and that is perfect for us, as now we can make it a one-score game. So here is Fields. Deep shot down the left side, trying on a second and 10, and that is going to be incomplete. Wow, that should have been a flag, I think. But now, nonetheless, we get it to a third and 10. Throw across the middle. That's Marvin Jones. He's open for a first down. And now we move the chains. So now at about the 37 yard line, this time Justin Fields is gonna scramble out to the right side. He's got wheels, he will get pushed out of bounds and wow, a late hit. I'm looking for the flag on that one, but it is a first down at the 24. So now first and 10, four wide receivers out there. This time we're gonna dump it off to ETN. He's got some room, he's gonna try to get to the outside, but he does pick up a gain of 13 and a first down. So we hurried up to the line. Not too much time left in this game. Three timeouts left, though. Justin Fields, he's going to try to throw it, and he gets sacked on that one. And look at this. Bruh. He's shaking up on the play as the stadium goes silent. And in comes Anthony Ying as wow. That just took the air out of the stadium. So in comes Ying here on a second and 13. His first pass across the middle. That is Tylen Wallace at about the five yard line. And now it's a third and three at the five. Ying, clean pocket, but pressure right there. He's gonna try to get rid of it. It's Anthony Barr, almost ended that one with an interception. And now that brings us to a fourth and three. We gotta go for it. Down by two scores, snap from the shotgun. Ying, he's gonna try to get rid of it. He gets sacked and the pass rush gets to us. And that one will end this one here at home, in our home opener, we end up falling to Trevor Lawrence and the Minnesota Vikings as we actually had a pretty good balance attack. Didn't ask Justin Fields to do too much, but who knows? Will he be hurt now? As on the final drive, he leaves the game. He finished actually passing not too bad. 20 for 29, 228 yards as well. Two touchdowns, two interceptions but we could not run the ball for the second straight game, but we did face a pretty good defensive front for the Vikings as in game one, we faced a really good one for the 49ers and we await the news of Justin Fields. But our defense, well, I think our secondary needs some work there. After pr pretty much playing flawless in game one, we had a pretty bad showing here in game two as Jose Kelly, their slot receiver, the number three receiver actually, did really well. He actually stepped up when Stephon Diggs got hurt on that first play. But we do find out some good news after that game. Justin Fields, it was just an injury for that game, so he will be back. A sigh of relief for Lions Nation here. But man, we gotta bounce back from that one as we go up against the Packers, Patriots, and Giants in our next three games. We're gonna try to come away with all three victories here as, remember, the Patriots do not have uh, Tom Brady anymore. They have Tua, so we might be able to see Tua in that game. So hit subscribe, hit that like button, stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go.